right. So, the distributive property. How many of you have seen this before? Most of us could. Okay, so when we have a number outside of the parentheses, and we're going to multiply that. Okay, and one of those is a variable. We need to multiply that number on the outside by both of the things on the inside. Okay, so we need to take 7 times x, which is right here, right? And then that plus sign comes with us. And then we're going to take 7 times 5, and it goes right there. So we're going to multiply it by both things. So when we get our answer, what is 7 times x? 7x plus, what is 7 times 5? 35. So our answer is just going to be 7x plus 35. Not so bad, right? And we can't combine those. Anybody know why we can't combine those? They're not like terms. They're not like terms. Good job. Alright, so this one just does the same thing. Okay, it just shows us that an example would be if I'm taking A times the quantity of B plus C, I would get AB plus AC. Okay, no big deal there. Let's turn all the way to this guy. Let's do some of these. Okay? So the first thing that I need to do is take 3 times what? Taking 3 times x and we get 3x. Three x. What sign am I bringing down? Look, bring down the plus sign. And then I have to take 3 times 8 and get 24. And that, folks, oh, is my answer. Alright. This is where it starts to get where we start to get a little double jumble. Okay? And we get confused about what order we should put these in. Okay? I'm gonna tell you we always go in the order from left to right of what's in the bigger set of parentheses. Okay? So what number am I multiplying through? The negative 4, yep. So first I'm going to take negative 4 times the 2y, yep. So negative 4 times 2y gives us negative 8y, good. And now we need to be careful because I'm taking negative 4 times negative 3, so that's going to come down and be a plus sign, yeah. So it's going to be plus 12, good. Okay, so don't let those pluses and minuses throw me off. Alright, so, ooh, we got all kinds of fractions and decimals. Alright, so here we're taking 2 times y and getting 2y plus, and then we're taking 2 times and getting 8. So I have 2y plus 8. Alright, Evan, what am I multiplying first to number 2? 12 times 3 gives us 36. Good. Sam, now what am I multiply? Good. 12 times 1, 6, 8. So I get, you really know what a sixth of 12 is? Good. Okay. So we would have 12 over 1 times. 1 over 6, right? Which gives us 12 over 6, which is 2. Good. So 2, H. That's going to be our answer there. Alright.
ever received it. One of the harder ones. One of the most suffers. Yes. Three times point four gives us one point two. And one point two plus let's go with Lauren. What am I multiplying now? Uh, three times one point one z. Three times one point one z gives us three point three. Good. Three point three z. Yeah, what would I multiply number four? You're right. This is what fraction? One, one fifth yep, times times the five x. Yep. Everyone tell me what one fifth times five x is. 1x. Okay, you can write this as 1x or I heard just x. Okay, either way it would work. Okay, 1x or just x. Minus, Jake, what am I multiplying now? Good, 1 fifth times 15 gives me. Should be okay with the distributive property, hopefully. 